This evening, it was a vicious attack. A man set on fire and burned to death. And then the white suspect allegedly writes a jailhouse letter claiming he targeted the black victim. Tonight, new details on the high profile crime. Now a top prosecutor is speaking out on the case for the first time, telling News Channel 5's Nick Barris the hate component is a key part of this case. A letter intercepted by deputies from an inmate here at the Rutherford County Jail is at the center of an arson-related murder, a crime that prosecutors say appears to have been motivated by hate. The defendant uh, uh, poured an accelerant on, uh, on the victim and ignited it. Uh, and uh, as a result of that, uh, the victim did die. John Carruthers is accused in the arson murder of 40-year-old Robert Miller this past March at a home on North Maple Street in Murfreesboro. Investigators believe Carruthers targeted Miller, but motive remained a mystery until deputies flagged a letter allegedly written by Carruthers at the jail and addressed to a white supremacist group. The Sheriff's Department found the letter in the outgoing mail, uh, and it is a, a, a very a helpful piece of evidence. The disturbing letter reads in part, I believe the Bible is about white people and for white people. I am in the Rutherford County Jail for burning a black man I set on fire with lighter fluid poured on his head. The motive does matter. This is the first uh, time District Attorney Jennings fiction. Jones has commented publicly about the case. He says you know, murder is murder. Murder is, is not something we tolerate. Uh, singling out a person because of their belief or because of their skin color, uh, that, that somehow uh, makes it just a little bit worse. There is not a specific hate crime law in Tennessee, but General Jones says he could pursue a hate crime enhancement if Carruthers is found guilty at trial, which would bring a harsher sentence. Carruthers has been found competent to stand trial, and indications are the letter is in his handwriting. Carruthers remains locked up here in the county jail, and with his mental evaluation complete, his case will finally now be bound over to the grand jury. In Rutherford County, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thanks, Nick. Local prosecutors are handling this case, but it is possible the U.S. Justice Department could intervene if needed. The U.S. attorney can prosecute hate crimes.